Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, this one's gonna be Halloween themed again. Um, so originally I was supposed to do this with my boyfriend, but he ended up getting busy and we kind of didn't have the time to do it. So I'm gonna do this on my own, but I'd like to give him the credits for the video idea because he was the one... <laughs> He was the one that decided um, that we should do something like this and I thought it was a good idea. So let's get into it. So for today's video, I'm gonna be drawing um, a couple uh, monsters, cryptids, but it's gonna be like an amalgamation of all of them. Is, is that all right? Is that a good word? Amalgamation. So as you can see, I got a little spinny wheel of monsters that I'm gonna be drawing. And basically for every single part of this monster, it's gonna be a different part of each monster. And we're gonna see what fucking Eldritch Horror we come out at the end of this with. So first we're gonna do the head. So um, let's just spin the wheel. Oh, I clicked on an ad. Okay, I'm just gonna do this right here and then I'll show you guys what the result is after because it's just gonna keep fucking up. Ooh, oh, this is, okay, for the head. All right, that's pretty simple. So for the first one, we have Slenderman and that's gonna be the head. Everybody knows what Slenderman looks like, so. Okay, I'm not really used to using my tablet in this orientation, so <laughs> bear with me. So I'm just gonna start off with the, the circular head, you know, like I always do, because he's, um, Slenderman's a very basic, like, he's a very basic creature. He's like a white thing with the suit on and he's got a lot of, ten I mean, okay, the tentacles aren't simple, but the rest of him is. It's just like a human face, but with no eyes and no nose and no mouth. So that's the head and the neck. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is the torso. Let's see what we get for the torso. Okay, this is a little bit basic just cause like she wears a long dress, but I, okay, so I got Haji Shakusama. But I think I'm gonna do something, somebody else because otherwise it's just gonna be a white face and then the white dress. And that like, that's too similar to the Hachi Shakusama. We're trying to get interesting here. Ooh, okay, so for the next one, we have the torso of the Wendigo. I don't know if y'all ever seen that, but I'll put it right here. Um, that shit's kind of creepy. So let me, I need to look up a reference picture for this because otherwise I'm not gonna get it right. He's got like kind of an animal body but like also like not animal because like I I've never seen an animal that looks like this before. Well, no fucking shit. And some some of them he has his ribs showing. So I think I might do something like that. And then he's kind of like skinnier at the bottom, but he's not like, he's not like bony or anything. He's just skinny. I think the head of the Wendigo would have been cooler than the torso of the Wendigo. I'm gonna have to shrink this down too because I'm not gonna have enough room for everything else. All right, so. That was a lot of silence, but you guys are coming back to me, um, you know, drawing done. All right, so that's the torso. We're done with the torso. Um, it's just ribs, uh, ribs and fur. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do, let's see. Let me spin my little wheel. Okay, so the next one for the legs we're gonna do is Nightcrawler, and these are gonna be for the legs. Okay, so these kind of just, they look like pants. Although I suppose like from these pictures, I could give him like flowy pants and that would make it a little bit better. It's not gonna be scary. All right, let's draw this bitch. So I'm gonna start right here and then I'm gonna kind of give him his like flowy pants. This looks so silly. Okay, so they don't really have feet. They just have like, they're like heads attached to legs. And I think they have like, they have a little divot right here that like shows that they do have some sort of feet, but it's not like, it's not like normal human feet or like animal feet, you know? It's just like kind of like a nub. Wow. This is terrible. This is a lot worse than I thought it was gonna be like. Okay, so the next one, we have arms. This should be the last one. So this one's actually pretty cool. For the arms, we have up here, which is like, I wanna say it was like more of a meme than anything. Oh yeah, it literally it literally comes up on Know Your Meme. But like, it's spooky. Oh, this is perfect. Cause it's got like claws, which is like, it's almost like the Wendigo, but like doesn't have the spookyish head. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do the arms on this one. So this is gonna be kind of hard to get because I didn't make his shoulders big enough. So let me just go ahead and make the Wendigo's shoulders a little bit bigger. I also feel like it's a little bit short, even with the the walking like the walking legs. It's probably why it looks so silly. And honestly, I kind of want to like I don't want to use the walking pants. So honestly, his arms are a little bit bulkier, so I could probably thicken these up a little bit. Oh, these are so creepy. I love these. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to make him a little bit taller. <laughs> Cause this just looks silly. Since he's facing forward, I'll just copy paste this. And hell, it's not cheating. I don't know what you're talking about. I think the torso could be a little longer too. So the torso and the legs, I think I'll fix that up a little bit. Maybe a little bit thicker. Cause I think this is too skinny. 
if you see the wendigo he's got like a little bit of a bigger upper half i mean just because like you know he's a monster he's a wolf and he's got the big chest okay so i'm gonna pick a different monster for the legs because <laughs> The fucking MC Hammer pants for legs on a creepy ass monster just isn't doing it for me. Okay, this is something to work with. Now we got, I mean, this kind of like adds to like the furry monster kind of thing, but we got the Chupacabra. Okay, so this one kind of looks like almost like a hyena slash wolf. The creepiest part about it is, is it seems the little um, like spikes that it has on its back, but since we're just going with the legs, it kind of has just like a dog foot. So I think that's what I'm gonna do and just make it a lot larger. Like almost like the Wendigo basically, but it has different paws and it's not as furry. It looks a little bit uh, furless and it's more skin than anything. All right, so that's the legs. Um, we have a pretty horrible character, honestly. The, the Slenderman uh, face just kind of doesn't do it. Imagine if Slenderman had a fursona. So I'm gonna have the finished version of this on my Instagram. Uh, if you guys would like to go and follow me over there and wait and see when it's gonna come out. Um, it should be out before this video is posted, so you guys can just go look and I'll put a link in the description uh, so that you guys can go look at it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this very, very horrible monster mashup where, in which I use all furry monsters apparently and not Fresno Nightwalkers because they look like pants. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, if you guys have any suggestions for my next one, I'm gonna do another uh, cryptids video because I've been getting a lot of suggestions on like really good ones and urban legends and stuff like that. So that's gonna be my next video. But if you guys have any other suggestions for that video or another spooky video that you guys might wanna see, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below and thank you guys for watching. Bye.